So these are a few definitions that you have to memorize. And again, remember we talked about when we were learning about what you need to do to be successful in IPC. And this is one of those things where it was like, you have to memorize. So in this case, hopefully you already know some of these definitions, right? Uh, melting, right? Hopefully you know that melting is going from solid to liquid. So just think of an ice cube melting, right? It goes from a solid chunk of ice into a liquid. So that's the definition of melting. Freezing is just the opposite, right? It's a reverse of that. Going from a liquid, so when you put your ice cube tray uh, in the freezer, it's going to go from a liquid into a solid, right? From liquid into an ice cube. And so this part right here, though, a lot of you may not have really uh, thought about this much, but remember that the freezing point and the melting point are the same thing. And I know that doesn't make sense at first, but think about at zero degrees, it's kind of like the border between solid uh, anything below zero is solid. Anything above zero is uh, a liquid. And so, but what happens is right at zero, things will actually are right. It's right on the border, right? So sometimes when you drop like a bunch of ice cubes in your drink and then you finish your drink and there's like the ice cubes are all stuck together, that's because like at some point they start freezing and then they'll melt and then they'll freeze together and then they'll melt and then they'll freeze together and then they'll melt and they'll keep doing that. So eventually they just become one big chunk of ice. Right. And sometimes you'll notice that when you, uh, again, get to the bottom of your drink and it's all just one big chunk. And that's what's happening. It's just melting and freezing back and forth. So here we have another phase change uh, called vaporization. Think of this as boiling. Right. This is going from a liquid to a gas at the boiling point. So basically, this is saying that it is turning to steam right from water to steam, but it has to go through the boiling point. Whereas evaporation is kind of the same thing, but evaporation doesn't have to boil. Think of the puddles of water outside after it rains. Uh, eventually they dry up, right? But nobody goes out there and boils the puddles of water, right? It, it does it, but it does it at a lot slower of a rate than if you were, to, you were to boil something. But it still does evaporate. It goes from a gas, sorry, it goes from a liquid to a gas, but it does not need to go through the boiling point. So condensation, this GIF here is actually an example of condensation. You see, going from gas to liquid is something that you do like when you breathe on a mirror or you breathe on a window or it's like a, it's warm inside your house and it's humid inside your house, but outside it's cold. You might see what you see in this GIF right here. And what he does when he runs his finger across it, you see all that water just drip down, right? It's because of the gas in the room when it hits that cold, cold uh, window, what happens is it... Um, all the little particles, remember, gas is spread out, but when it gets cold, they condense into a liquid, right? They get into liquid uh, phase. And so, again, when the warm air hits that cold window, the warm gas turns, it all gets like, it compacts closer together, the particles, and it turns into a liquid. And so when he runs his finger through that, you see all that water just drip down, right? At one point, it was gas in the room, but when it hit the cold window, it turned into a liquid. Here's another example. So phase changes, uh, another example of phase changes, deposition. You really don't see it here in Texas, but if you go up north, you will definitely see this in the winters. So I remember when I lived in Michigan, I would go out in the middle of the winter and get in my car and I would breathe. And when I exhaled on the windshield, all of a sudden the breath that I exhaled, it was a gas, right? And when I exhaled it, it hit the windshield, it turned into ice as soon as it hit the windshield. That's how cold it was, right? So it went from a gas straight to a solid. That is deposition. And again, it happens more up north and not so much down here in Texas. Solid to gas. I have this gif right here below it because this is what they do. A lot of people do in Halloween is they use dry ice uh, because of the sublimation. Dry ice goes from a solid to a gas. It goes from a solid chunk of CO2, carbon dioxide. And when that starts to heat up, instead of turning into a liquid, it turns straight into a gas. Right. So people like to use that when they're shipping things long distance and they don't want it to get wet, but they need it to stay cold. Because, again, when that melts or it doesn't melt, when it uh, heats up, it doesn't turn into a liquid. It turns into gas. And that's kind of what you see here coming out of the jack-o'-lantern is that gas that people use to make it look like smog or fog. Right. But uh, this is an example of dry ice sublimating, sublimation. 